Okay, hello everybody. So this is an introduction to Rhino user interface. So what you will see when you open up Rhino will be this command prompt over here. There are tabs here also for you to choose different commands. And we also have a sidebar here and a layer properties here by default. On top, you have further options for more commands that you can go to. And in the middle is the window where you can view your 3D geometry. So there's top view, perspective view, front and right. This can also be toggled here. And if you have this turned on, which is under OSNAP, this will be your snap settings, where you can snap to particular parts of your geometries. There are also further items here that we can elaborate on later. This is where you can set your orthogonal snap to the X and Y directions, and also where you can do gumball and even record history. Okay, in terms of general user interface for the commands on the left that you see with a triangle at the bottom right, this means that you can click and hold and there are more options for that particular command. Okay, in the event that it's just a single click it, it will be the command that you want to have. When you want to navigate within your view properties, you can double click to maximize it. And then double click again to minimize. <clears throat> now, let's start with how we can navigate within this perspective viewport. So you can use your middle mouse button to come up with this shortcut. This is where you'll be able to do certain settings. Okay, what I've done, just done, is to click on the save button and it will prompt you to save your file. So what we can do now is we can just name this as intro, but you can name it as whatever file that you want. If you want to Navigate within this user interface of this window. You can right click and you can orbit around. Right click and hold will allow you to orbit. If you were to hold on to shift on your keyboard and right click, you will be able to pan. After that, you can zoom out and zoom in. So let's just start with creating a simple box. Just left click on this box command and it will prompt you for the parameters. So for this case, we want to indicate the other corner and we can move it up. This will be our box. You can also key in your command. In this case, just typing in box, pressing enter and you can do the same thing. Now let's adjust the view properties of this by clicking on the triangle here. You can change this to shaded and rendered. And there are a lot of other options that you can play around with. Just one last thing. In terms of the general user interface, you will see that after we have modeled these geometries, there will be these arrows that allows you to manipulate the geometry. So if you were to click and hold onto this red arrow, you will lock within this red axis, similarly for the green axis. There are also commands here for rotation, which I can pull along over here as well. And I can rotate in these directions by clicking and dragging on it. If you would like to have a more controlled 
point, you can click on the left arrow tip, uh, on the arrow tip, I mean, and then you can type in your values. Okay. So that is all for the introduction of how to navigate within Rhino itself.